Good evening, Minister. Thanks very much uh, for your time. I'm sure in your scramble to try and, uh, uh, you know, find the money, you had to sacrifice something. Uh, good evening, uh, Vuyo, and evening to the viewers. Uh, well, we were, I think, fortunate in that there were uh, some funds uh, that were left over and not taken up uh, with the gap funding that was available uh, for students uh, uh, to utilize, uh, for parents rather, to apply for, to cover uh, fee increases. And we did have uh, lower than expected uh, fee increases in the past financial year. So we were able uh, to utilize some of that funding toward this relief of debt for continuing students. And I must emphasize, we're talking about students who were registered in the system in the academic year uh, 2018. Uh, uh, does that go for the entire amount or only some of it? The entire amount, uh, what we had been uh, involved in Buyo was uh, an assessment uh, of what is owed uh, to universities and by which students uh, that are still in the system. As you know, in the past uh, financial aid scheme, uh, funding was provided to students earning, whose family earnings were uh, at 122,000 uh, per annum or below. Uh, many of those uh, students were not fully funded as we have with the new scheme. So given that differential, we were able to uh, implement an assessment exercise through which we could identify those students. Many of them were students who continue to be funded by NISVAS, but on the old scheme, and they have over the years, due to this family contribution requirement, uh, acquired uh, quite a large debt and several of the universities were the ones that were providing uh, loans and are therefore owned a, owed a great deal of money. For some of the students who have graduated, they don't even get their certificates. So this uh, relief will make sure that they're able to get their certificates and those with job offers can take up those employment opportunities. Which then brings me to my next question, that, which is that, <clears throat> excuse me, as much as this is a welcome step, it still doesn't address the elephant in the room, which is the missing middle. Yes, certainly, as I indicated in the statement uh, that I issued, we are still working hard at developing an appropriate uh, model which addresses the need of that category of families uh, and students. And we believe that a partnership between the public and the private sector might be the way to go, but uh, we are still working on the exact details of that. And I hope we'll be able uh, to finalize a uh, program that provides that form of assistance uh, within uh, uh, not too long a time. Uh, why are you seemingly not really as committed um, to dealing with the issue of the missing middle as you seem to be, for example, with how you moved with speed to find this 967 million to settle the historic debt? Well, as you, you know, uh, Vuyo, that uh, a large part of the concern of our government is to ensure that we address the historic inequities that we have in our country. The students who were previous beneficiaries of NISFAS and not at full cost uh, are the poorest among all students in the higher education sector. And we've always been uh, uh, articulating our commitment to ensuring that we address the needs of those who are most vulnerable, who are the poor and the working class.
Well, let me tell you what some people say is the reason you managed to find the 967 million rand. It is that, it's alleged, it's, uh, you know, on the eve of an election, um, your uh, or student uh, uh, organizations aligned to the ANC are feeling the pressure from rival student organizations like those of the EFF. And you've had to move with speed because that is what matters to you. But in the long run or beyond the election, you won't have appetite to address the real issue, which is the issue of the missing middle. Uh, well, Buyo, as I've indicated, uh, we are working on addressing that very matter. I had uh, said that uh, I do believe that there will be those sorts of uh, accusations. However, my uh, purpose is always to respond and continue working. Work does not stop because uh, there's an election and I'm not part of a uh, student organization, nor do I participate uh, in the campaigns uh, of students on campuses. So that would be quite a ridiculous accusation. However, um, I am aware that some people, in fact, in media interviews this morning, they're saying, is this an election ploy? And I indicated to them that we had announced that a diligence exercise was underway. The matter of historic debt has been raised consistently by students. And at the beginning of the year, when there was this threat of a shutdown, I indicated to them I was expecting a report on the first phase of the due diligence exercise, which is of students who were in the system up to 2018, and uh, that we will make an announcement before the end of March with respect uh, to how we would deal with that first phase. So I've honored the commitment that I made, uh, and it is sad if uh, anybody thinks the work that we do is just because of an election. We will continue to work, and uh, I will continue to announce progress. Tomorrow we'll be uh, announcing a particular program, opening up uh, initiatives that I spoke of last year. So uh, work doesn't stop uh, because somebody is uh, campaigning for election on campus, nationally, provincially, or any other level. Have you given ourselves any timelines with regard to the next phase? In other words, dealing with the issue of the uh, missing middle, hopefully once and for all. Well, as I said, this work must be done with speed, and uh, we've already begun looking at what the possible models are. <laughs> what I'd like to do is that uh, we should have done much of the work for the next administration uh, to be able to continue and to develop uh, an appropriate uh, uh, model which will be used uh, in future. So this work is ongoing, and I'm sure uh, it should be able to be completed by the end of this year. Minister, thanks very much uh, for your time this evening. The Minister of Higher Education and Training, Naledi Pando, joining us live from our Cape Town studios.